Hey everybody, Steve here, and in this video today we're going to talk about the countdown because it's the month of May. Matter of fact, it's the 2nd of May. We have 18 days in a wake up to find out whether Harold Camping and Witness of the Truth are truly men of Almighty God and prophets for the end times, or whether they're just false prophets, false teachers who are listening to Satan, the father of lies. Uh, here's the thing, is that uh, we're seeing a lot of doubt through the Harold Camping believers who believe in the dates of May 21st being the day of judgment, the rapture, you know, and October 21st being the end of the world. Uh, a lot of people are closing their accounts. Um, it's really interesting because you start pressing and you start having discussions, and these people, you can see that they're swaying. You can see the doubt is it's seeping in as, as the countdown continues. But you know what? There is no doubt when you come to the end context word of God. Jesus said that heaven and earth will pass away, including, you know, false teaching, false prophets. But he and his words will last forever. They'll last for eternity. So anyway, what I would just want to talk about is a quick review of what's going to happen on May 21st. Now, there's going to be five things that they talk about. And here are some of the things. Number one is going to be the world's worst earthquake. It's the worst earthquake from history and the future this will be the worst earthquake ever ever okay so uh, there's going to be some things i'm going to do and uh, to to either prove or disprove we're going to record and see if the, these five things happen uh, number two is that all the graves will burst open so anywhere a person is buried uh, that grave will burst open Okay, all over the world, without exception, it could be an old grave, a new grave, uh, uh, they're all going to burst open. So that's the second thing that's going to happen. The third thing that's going to happen, millions of dead corpses everywhere. Because Harold Camping and, and uh, Witness of the Truth say that there's only 200 million people that are saved. Okay, so you figure if you do the, do the math and you figure out how many people died, you know, it's about 20 billion people or so that died in, in the past times. So, you know, there's going to be millions and millions of dead bodies everywhere. You know, in various stages of decomp decomposition, could be just bones, could be dust, could be bodies with maggots and worms. And uh, so, you know, we're going to see millions of dead corpses everywhere. Uh, number four, we're going to, millions and millions of people are going to die on that day, May 21st. So, you know, we're going to check the news and we're going to do searches on the news in the last 24 hours on that day. And to see if millions and millions of people died, world's worth or earthquake, you know, they'll be, it should be plastered all over the news. Look, look, I was uh, burying my grandmother and all these graves burst open, every single one of them. You know, we're going to see so many reports of that. It's going to be littered everywhere all over the world. Um, or not. <laughs> Number five is that those that are left behind. See, only 200 million are going to be saved, according to Harold Camping, witness of the truth. And everybody else is, is a pagan, a heathen. We're evil. We're not, you know, we're an abomination before God. But we will see, if somebody was really saved and they're buried, we're going to be able to see them go and fly up and meet the Lord in the air. Uh, so there's those five things that we're going to see on May 21st. According to Harold Camping, according to witness of the false truth, I call him false truth, uh, but witness of the truth, and... It's really important because both of them had said, and people who believe these dates of May 21st being a rapture and judgment day, no ifs, ands, and but, or buts about it. This is going to happen hands down, thus saith the Lord. This is the revelation. This is what's taught. This is going to be the day because... It will either show that God in his word, his in-context word, which lasts forever, God doesn't change, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, uh, and the fact that we don't see, you know, things like Harold Camping, he, he, he believes that, you know, after May 21st, you can't get saved anymore. It's a done deal. If you're still here on earth on May 21st, you know, why go through the tribulation from, from May 21st until October 21st when the world's destroyed because there's no hope of salvation, the book has been closed, so you know, you might as well just kill yourself. You know, he didn't say that, but if you follow that logic and, and keep it to the next step, why put yourself through all that pain and suffering? Why not just end it? But do we see anything of that in Scripture? Do we see anything saying, uh, like 1 John 1, 9, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just, will forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness, unless it's after May 21st, and unless there's your... You know, we only have 200 million slots for, for believers, and if you're 200 million in one, you're out of luck. 
No, we don't see that anywhere in Scripture. It's not taught by Jesus, His disciples, by God, the Holy Spirit. Uh, in the Old Testament, New Testament, we don't see anything like that at all. Uh, so anyway, there's a lot of things, a lot of conflicts with the teachings of Witness of the Truth in Herald Camping. And May 21st is going to be the day because uh, it will bring to light, God's truth will bring to light, and whether these events happen or not, of whether they're men of God or false teachers and false prophets who are listening to Satan. Uh, as I've said in other videos, we're already seeing uh, seeds of doubt through the campy nights and the, uh, the people who follow these dates. Uh, some people are even closing their accounts, their YouTube accounts. Some accounts are already closed. Um, and it's just going to show, you know, the light is going to show forth the deeds of darkness. So, and I want people to understand, this isn't saying that me, I'm right, and they're wrong, and so you should listen to me. No, this is the in-context word of God, which I follow, versus the lies and the heresy and the false teaching. You need to follow Jesus Christ. You know, instead, we should be preaching the gospel. You know, we don't say anything, well, a couple thousand years from now, on May 21st, you can stop preaching the gospel because it's going to be null and void after that day. No, we don't see that taught by anybody. Neither do we see that, that uh, you know, this is the day and the exact hour of when, when the, the rapture is going to hit. Jesus said himself, no man knows the day or the hour, only my Father in heaven. Not even the angels, just my Father in heaven. No man knows, no man from past, present, or future. That verb tense and that statement, no man's going to know that hour. Because Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. I think I remember reading that somewhere. He's going to come like a thief in the night. Uh, I mean, there's so many conflicts with what Harold Camping and Witness of the Truth talk about. It's not even funny. Um, you know, the fact that Harold Camping says that after May 21st, and if you want to become saved, you're not saved. Because the books have been closed. Harold Camping also says that between the years of 1988 and 1994, if you, no one can get saved. And what's interesting is when I've actually had discussions with people who said, you know, I follow these dates, I follow the higher camping, and I ask them, well, when did you get saved? Uh, I got saved in 1990 in October. Uh, you're, you're an abomination. You can't even, you don't even meet the criteria of Harold Camping, who you say is a great man of God. He's the one you should follow, and this is what's going to happen. You're, you're, according to Harold Camping, you're deceived yourself. But we don't see any script. The thing is, we don't see any scriptures to prove that. You know, uh, do we see that, you know, if we believe in our heart and confess with the mouth, thou shalt be saved, but not if it's between the years of 1988 and 1994 or after May 21st? There, it's not in there. So in other words, you know, we're just going to, people like myself and the people who believe in God's in-context word uh, that doesn't change and doesn't come up with these real wild uh, teachings and prophecies that conflict against the, the Word of God, you know, we're just going to follow Jesus and follow Him. Uh, you know, isn't it interesting that the Bible says that we are to uh, witness and to evangelize, to preach the gospel message? You know, man sin, Jesus, you know, we're all guilty, we're all going to be punished. You know, those who believe and, and uh, those who continue in sin will go to hell along with the devil and his angels for eternity. You know, those who are saved will have everlasting life. Those two words are the same, eternal. Um, but, you know, and that you should repent. In other words, turn from the broad road to destruction in your sin and satisfying the flesh. You come to, to a junction in that road and then where you hear that gospel message that Jesus died for the sins of the world because God so loved the world and that God initiated that action. He sent his son. He loved first. And so we're responding to what Jesus did. He died on a cross, but he was sinless. His sacrifice was acceptable to God. And that if we repent, and if we confess our sins, believe in our heart, count the cost, and follow him, guess what? Like 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just, and will forgive us of our sins, and cleanse us, purify us from all unrighteousness. It's like everything that we've done, uh, all the sins of breaking God's law, of lying, cheating, stealing, adultery, false teaching, false prophecies, that, if, that when God, when we sincerely repent, turn from all that stuff and turn to God and humble ourselves and ask for his forgiveness, God takes that eraser and throws our sin as far as the east is from the west, and it's forgiven. It's a done deal. Jesus said it is finished. 
and we're a new creature in Christ. But the problem is what we're seeing with Harold Camping and, and witness of the, of the false truth is that they say, you know, well, if you step foot into a church building, oh, God's not almighty and all-powerful because if you step into a church building, a denominational building, all bets are off. You're not saved. Your salvation has just been yanked. That warranty is, is null and void. There is no guarantee. <laughs> wow. So if the God that Harold Camping and Witness of the False Truth follow, somehow mankind can, can like take that salvation away by stepping across the threshold of a building? I contend, and so does the Bible show, that that is not the Almighty God. Because now, suddenly, you have more power than God in his gospel message. But again, going back to the gospel message, it's not about them preaching Jesus and him crucified, and that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and that you must repent, confess, and, and, and follow him. The only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. They're, they're, they're preaching May 21st, May 21st, May 21st! Judgment Day! They're not telling people how to get saved. And that's another red flag that shows you that they're false teachers. Because, and it all comes from Satan, the father of lies, because he doesn't want to get anybody saved. He doesn't want anybody to hear the gospel message. So he'll, you, he'll misuse the Bible, pretend to be God, pretend to be Jesus, give these prophecies, that, you know, and will do everything to steer. You can concentrate on anything you want in the Bible as long as it's not the gospel message, the real gospel message of Jesus Christ. That man has sinned and Jesus was the perfect sacrifice, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. But, they, you know, Satan doesn't want that, so he's going to concentrate on, on giving secret prophecies and, and esoteric knowledge and, and explaining the mysteries of the Bible that, oh, May 21st is the rapture. It's just going to get... That's what Satan does. He did it in the Garden of Eden with Eve. He did it throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. And guess what? Jesus said he's still doing the same thing today. Even when Jesus was tempted, Satan used the same tricks. So it's, it's real easy to see people like Witness of the Truth and Harold Camping, how their lies conflict with the Bible. Anyway, there are some things that are going to happen on May 21st, according to Witness of the Truth and Harold Camping. This is a done deal. No ifs, ands, or buts. These five things are going to happen. The first thing is that we will have the world's worst earthquake. From all recorded past, present, history, or future, this is going to be the world's worst earthquake. That's going to be number one. Number two is going to be that all the graves where anybody has ever been buried will burst open. The entire world. Okay? Um, wow, that's going to be really interesting because number three, they've stated that millions of dead corpses will be everywhere. So in other words, you could go to a cemetery and you, you could be there, say, with a, a video camera and you can record and you'll see the world's greatest earthquake and the camera will crash and fall. And then all the graves, you'll see all the graves bursting open without exception. And you'll see millions and millions of dead corpses lying around in various case, states of decomposure. And maybe some will just be bones, same partial or teeth or skulls, or maybe some will be fresh corpses and maggots are still running through them. It will be horrifying. Uh, then number four, it says that millions and millions of people will die on that day. That's a quote. That's going to happen. These things are going to happen, no ifs, ands, or buts. So, you know, we should be able to turn, because this is going to be a worldwide event. Not sure which time zone, because, you know, they don't want to talk about that. But you'll turn to every news channel. You'll go to every internet site and every foreign and stateside news. And th this news will fill everything because it's happening worldwide. You'll get news videos and clippings and YouTube videos of, of cemeteries and the graves bursting open, the millions of dead bodies. It will literally overrun everything on every news media agency throughout the entire world. That's what we're going to see, according to them. So anyway, uh, millions and millions of people will die on that day. So we'll see that. Number five is that those who are left behind, not part of the 200 million of the real believers, according to Harold Camping, a witness of the false truth, that only 200 million are getting saved. So the rest of us, like you and me, who believe in the in-context word of God, will see them zip off to heaven and boom, you know, out of their graves and into heaven to meet the Lord in the air. So here's the deal. If those five things don't happen, guess what? 
Scripture says that they are false teachers and false prophets who are listening to the father of lies, Satan. Okay? Uh, and there's so many conflicts with what these people put out, it's not even funny. You know, they say that after May 21st, uh, there's no hope of salvation. You know, so you take it to the next logical step. You might as well just kill yourself because why, why hang around and go through the tribulation and the end of the world on October 21st? You're already guilty. There is no hope of salvation. So just kill yourself now. You go to heaven. You get judged. Boom. And then you're, you're, they believe in annihilationism, uh, you know, that the soul is destroyed. And so really it's just like turning the light off and you're done. You know, what... Why put yourself through all the physical pain and emotional problems? The problem is, Scripture doesn't teach that. We see that those who continue in sin, uh, liars, adulterers, false teachers, false prophets, that those who continue in sin will be in hell that was created for the devil and his angels. And it's, it'll last for eternity, forever. But those who are saved will have everlasting life. Again, if you look at the definitions of eternal and everlasting, it's the same word. It means without beginning and without end. It's eternity. Okay, but they don't believe that. They don't believe in the basic definitions of Jesus' own words uh, or the writers of the Bible. So they, they don't even believe the Bible. They're going to pick and choose uh, little bits of theology here and there and some verses and take it out of context and mix it, mix it all up with this, this itching ear voice that they're listening to who is not Jesus Christ. And they're going to say, oh, this is the prophecy. This is what's going to happen. Well, they're going to be shown for who they really are, for not following the real Jesus. You know, Harold Camping, it's interesting because, uh, and Witness of the Truth, and many others say that if you step across the threshold of a denominational building, suddenly your salvation is ripped out of you. You are no longer saved. But the problem is, do we see this in Scripture anywhere? We see 1 John 1, 9, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just, will forgive you of your sins and purify or cleanse you of all unrighteousness, comma, except after, on May 21st and thereafter, or between the years of 1988 and 1994, or when you step across the threshold of a denominational building. We don't see it anywhere. Nowhere. Zip, zero, nada. We don't see it from Jesus, his disciples, the authors of the Bible, uh, even the New Testament believers in the New Testament. We don't see such teachings. But rather we do see throughout history uh, the heresies and the abominations and the false teachings that have, even in Jesus' day and all the way up until now, we've seen those things. Uh, where Satan has twisted and manipulated, he's deceived people, and these people are under a delusion because they're looking to a prophecy, an event, or they've been given the title of uh, end times prophet, or the leader of the 144,000, or the one who explains the mystery of, of, you know, it's amazing. They never preach the true gospel, but fact remains, is on May 21st, if none of these things happen, it's going to show that they, they haven't been following Almighty God, that they haven't followed Jesus who has been given all power and authority, that they haven't been following the Holy Spirit who guides and teaches us, uh, you know, in all truth. But rather, they're following Satan. Remember, Satan in the Garden of Eden, uh, he presented and used God's word, but he took out a slice of that pie of truth and replaced it with lies. And so it's that, that, that truth has been corrupted and it's no longer the truth. It becomes heresy. False teaching, which breeds false prophecies. But none of these people will face the truth, and hopefully they'll face the truth on May 21st when nothing happens. I use sarcasm. I'm excited to see the countdown, but I'm also sad. I'm also disheartened because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to see, and, and they're going to be faced with reality of, I haven't been following the truth. This isn't about me being right. This is about God's word that lasts forever. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And when he says that your sins are forgiven, guess what? And there's no exception clauses. You know, if you step across the doorway of a denominational building, we don't see that. So clearly it is a different message. And even Paul warned about that. That even if he himself preached a different message to have nothing to do with it, that that person is to be damned accursed and he said it twice 
to drive home that point. And that's what we're seeing with uh, Harold Camping, witness of the, of the false truth, witness of the truth, but, you know, it's really the false truth. We'll see that. So anyway, uh, the countdown. We've got 18 days in a wake-up, and we'll see that the truth, this is going to be the ultimate test uh, and, and the reality, the proof of what they prophesied, either it's right or wrong. And if they're wrong, that means they're false prophets or false teachers, and they're not listening to Almighty God or the real Jesus or the, the Holy Spirit, but rather they're listening to a false God, a false Christ, and a deceptive spirit, which is ultimately Satan, the father of lies. So anyway, uh, we're seeing, as I said, we're seeing lots of doubts. Uh, we're starting to see people who believe in these dates that they're closing their YouTube accounts. We're seeing seeds of doubt in their, in their, their discussions, their comments, and all of a sudden their, 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 their channels are, are, have been deleted, their accounts closed. Yeah, it's, it's getting short and people are getting nervous. They're getting that feeling in their gut, man, something's not right. So they close their account. That little feeling in there of, of something's wrong, something's not right, that's the Holy Spirit telling you and saying, hey, you're on the wrong path. You're on that broad road of destruction. God can rescue you. It's that little elbow, but you need to acknowledge your sin. You need to, to ask forgiveness and repent of this false teaching and these false prophets and promoting them. Because, and I've been there and done that. It, people, if you come to your senses, repent of your sin, confess, ask forgiveness, make a video on YouTube of crying and weeping and asking forgiveness for, for leading those people astray that are, that are getting into the same sin and delusion of Harold Camping and witness of the, of the false truth and so many other false teachers that are rallying around this day of May 21st. The problem is that most people don't want a relationship with Jesus Christ they want something new and different, and Satan is there to offer that. So unfortunately, God does, not unfortunately, but God does rescue his sheep, as it says in his word, but so often the sheep will continue to go from one false teaching to another to another because they don't want that relationship with Jesus. They don't want nothing to do with the gospel and preaching that message of salvation. They want to preach everything but the thing that can save people from hell. So anyway, in this countdown, 18 days in the wake up, it's going to be very interesting. So if you see people that were hardcore, bang, this is going to happen. The Herald Camping's right, witness of the truth is right. And in this May 21st judgment day, end of the world, October 21st, and all of a sudden they're, they're gone and their channels are gone or whatever, let me know. I'd like to know that information. Um, it, it's going to be a very interesting trying time for those people who are deceived. But just know that God, Almighty God, not a false God, not a false Christ, not a deceptive spirit, but the real God, the Almighty God, Jesus who's been given all power and authority, He is still there. And you need to turn from your sin. And for witness of the truth, Harold Camping, both of you, it's going to come crashing down like a house of cards and you're going to be faced with the reality that you are following Satan. And I don't know if there's any hope for you. I turn you both over to the Lord. I wash my hands. The Lord rebuke you. I hope you can return back to the real fold and follow the real Jesus. But I don't know. In times past, we see, see that the leaders and the false prophets of this magnitude usually, they don't turn from their sin. They don't turn from their false teaching. Because they are deceived, they've been given over to a delusion. So I don't know. I really don't know. But if that's what they choose, is to follow a false god, they made that decision. And if they like the attention and the rewards that they're getting now from Satan here on this earth, that's going to be your reward, it's going to be here on earth. But you're going to face the consequences when you do face Almighty God and face judgment, the real judgment. And if your sins are not forgiven by what Jesus Christ did on the cross, the penalty, there's going to be hell to pay. That's separation from God. It's not torture. God does not take, take uh, any enjoyment out of, out of people being separated for him. 
because he wants that all should come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, that all should be saved. But those who continually snub their nose at him and follow a false god who follows Satan, it's going to be that separation. That sin is what separates us from God. And remember, hell was created for the devil and his angels and those who continue in sin. It's not going to be torture. It's just going to be the realization that you followed a lie. And that's, there's going to be a lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth. Remember that Jesus said that there will be many on that day who will say, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we do great deeds, cast out demons, and do all these things? And he's going to say and turn and say, depart from me, I never knew you. That Jesus never knew them because they knew Satan, a false Christ. The two can't come together. Harold Camping says that Jesus and, and Satan, they're both angels and they're kind of like brothers. And, and there is no joining of sin and destruction with holiness and righteousness. Just by that claim by itself that Jesus was an angel, a created being, negates the act of salvation. I don't know. There's so much false teaching going around. But again, please test everything. Test the spirits. Test the message. Make sure it's not different and uh, because it's out there. Maybe this is part of the great, great deception that's happening, the great falling away. I don't know. But what I do know is that these people are not following the real Jesus, the real Almighty God, or the Holy Spirit that guides us into all truth. And we will know 100% that they're not when those five things don't happen on May 21st. So anyway, let the countdown continue. Take care, God bless, and keep up the good work.